Hello, it's Katie Parker. Today we're going to be looking at how to make this um, Irish Duo design, which is absolutely beautiful. An Irish Duo is a beautiful bead. It's kind of this um, petal shape bead, leaf or petal shape bead, and it's a twin bead too, so it gives you lots and lots of different options when you're using it. So these ones, I'm going to be using the different, the opposite colour in this in this kit because I think they're all beautiful and I couldn't decide. So this is actually the two colours in the kit that which are actually dual sided. So this side you get one colour and this side you get a different kind of colour tone to them. So it gives you a kind of reversible necklace too. So we were looking at making this section here and how to start connecting it to the actual, more like a chain link section as well. Okay, so for that I'm going to be using some £10 fire line. £8 would work perfectly well with it too. And I'm using the dark colour, the kind of smoke colour. Okay, and I'm also using a size 10 beading needle. So to begin with, we're going to pop a stop bead on. So I'm going to use one of my size 11s out of the kit as a stop bead. And what you will do, I'm working with a shorter piece of, of thread at the moment, but you need to work with as long as you can handle. So... As long, a, as long a piece as you can handle. But what you also need to do is this tail at this side, you could leave this very, very long so that you can work the other end, um, the other chain part with it. So if you wanted to, you could leave this tail very long and uh, work the chain part with that and makes it a lot easier than adding thread. So I would say at least two good arm lengths, but um, whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, so we're going to add our first bead. So I'm going to start using these kind of rose goldy coloured ones. So I'm going to come up that first bead on the left hand side hole. So be careful you're picking the bead up the right way because we've got two different sides for these. And then I'm going to come down the opposite side. So that's my first move there is just to come up and then down. So you can see we've got my stop bead at the bottom there. So the next thing I'm going to do is add another duo bead, the iris bead. So when I'm adding at the bottom, whenever I'm adding at the bottom row, I'm going to choose to go in the right hand hole as, it, as it's facing me. So the left hand I'm going to use for the top and the right hand I'm going to use for the bottom. And then I know it's going to sit the right way around. So I'm going to pick it up by that right hand hole, let this drop down. And now I know it's going to sit next to it and it's going to be the right way around like so. Okay, so now I'm going to come up the other side of that hole, up the right hand side and pull them together and I'm ready to add my next one. So again, adding at the top, so I'm going to use the left hand hole in there and this time as I'm adding on the top I'm going to add one, two, three of my size 11 beads and I'm going to come down this hole here. So if we just, uh, this uh, the right hand hole of that first bead that we added and then through down through to the middle. So I've come down where we've got those two connected and I'm going to pull this in and now you will have this bead slotted into place and a little um, bridge of size 11 seed beads at the top. So there we go, that's all sorted and in the right spot. So now I'm going to come up the other side of the bottom of this bead and I'm going to come up all the way to the top, but I'm going to miss those seed beads at the top. Okay, and now I can come back down and I'm ready to add my next section. So there we are. In fact, let's just pull that in a little bit. There we go. So that is my first section done. And the next part, we're going to add that bottom drop part on it too. Okay, so because we're adding to the bottom row, we're going to pick up on the right hand side of the bead. Then we're going to pick up an 11. And then we're going to pick up again, because we're adding onto the bottom, we're picking up on the right hand side of my opposite colour and another 11. Okay, so there on my thread, I've got my bottom coloured bead. I've got my see another uh, seed bead, my opposite colour bead and another seed bead. And then from there, I'm going to come up in this section here. So I'm going to come all the way up through that second part where we've got two in a row. So all the way up there. And then we will find, give that little tug and that will sit in place like so. So now we're ready to move on to the next section. 
So we're going to come down these two, just the just the Irish duos, not the seed bead. Pulling that into place, and we're just going to get ourselves into the place where we can start our next section. Okay, so we're on the top row, so we add with the left hand hole. Popping that one on, like so, and we can see there, if you're just following the design that we've just created, we need a little bridge of three, so one, two, three size 11 seed beads, and back down through both of those Irish dewers on that side, and then up both of the Irish dewers on this side, you might just have to wiggle it a little bit for them to come through. Then we're going to come back down so that we're in a position to add that bottom section again. So we're going to add we'll get our bead. If you get it the right, as long as the right, the colour's the right way up, then you know if you're adding at the bottom, you're adding on the right hand side. And again, we're adding that same conversation com combination. So we're adding a seed bead, an Irish Jura, and a seed bead as our drop. Pulling them down and then coming up the other side. So I've got my beads on my thread and then I'm going to come up this section here, up this side. There we go and that one's added and just to secure that and get back into position to adding that next top bead, we come down those two iris duos and back up and we're ready to add our next section. So creating that that section is as easy as that it's just a few small moves and it's basically adding a bridge on each side but at this side you're adding that extra drop and that will give you that nice um, that nice drape around for the neckline okay so that's this section that we've just done here like so and like i say with these bees are amazing because if you flip them over we get kind of a different look on the other side. Now we're going to just have a quick look at making this part, this little chain part that comes off that end bead, that end iris duo. Okay, so I've got this little piece that I've worked up just a little bit earlier so it's a little bit longer. So what you're going to do is you want to start and finish with that. So we started with one bead sort of on the top row sort of protruding and then we want to end with one protruding and always try and end up with a odd number just so you've got a central point as well. Okay so all we do is I'm going to use uh, this colour to uh, make this bit of a chain with. So we're going to pick up two, sorry I must say that I've actually, I'll just go back. So that, that would be my last um, my last piece that I'd come up through here and I'm going to skip up to the top so I'm actually at the top so I would have been ready to add the bottom one there. So what I'm going to do is because I'm adding on this top row I know that I can add two seed beads through the bottom of this one, another two seed beads and then come through the top like so. So I've added that one section on. Now I can come up through those two seed beads, through the iris duo, just straighten them up, give them a little tug, and then I'm going to skip up to the top of here. And I'm going to do the same again. So I'm adding two seed beads through the bottom of the iris duo, and another two seed beads, and through. And you're going to keep doing that until you've got the length of the kind of chain that you want. So. I'm just going to add one more onto this and then I can show you how to just make that little kind of pico um, design that makes them kind of a little bit more triangular. Okay, so I'm going to go through the top of that one, add another two, pick up my iris duo, add another two and come through and working out to the top there. So all I would do is I would get to the length that I wanted to and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to come through one of those two seed beads that we added and then add an extra seed bead and come through like so and what that does it kind of gives you that little pico design and then I'll kind of come through this side so you're just going to work your way kind of back down again 
So adding an extra seed bead coming through like so. Oops. There we go. And then I'm just going to follow that bead path down to my next section and you're just going to work your way back down towards the main piece. So I'm going to come through this way and I'm going to skip down and start working on this section here. So coming through and adding a little size 11 in between all those little uh, duos of size 11s that you've already got. So you're just kind of following it around in little circles. Uh, I'll finish these ones. Following that around, adding that extra bead. And it kind of tightens it up as well, so it makes it so don't worry if they do feel a bit loose as you start as you start making them, because uh, it's all going to kind of pull together when we add this extra bead in there. So back down, and then I'm almost back down. But you can see kind of the difference there. Of these ones, I've kind of got that nice pico edge, and then these ones I've just got the two. If you wanted to leave them as two, you could do, but I'd. I quite like them and it kind of strengthens the piece up as well, just adding these extra little seed beads in. So, and around to this side, and each time you're going around this, you're adding so much strength to all these little connections. And through there. Okay, and then you can decide whether, when you're at the very end, whether you want to add a loop or whether you you, you want to add make your own your own class. We've got some beautiful sterling silver um, bolt rings in the actual kit. So I just added. I continued on with the um, with the the chain, and then I just went into just a a nice uh, thin piece of uh, just normal seed beads, and then added my clasp at the end there. So, and I just surrounded that one a little bit more. But that is your basic design. And I think even though it is very, very simple to do, very basic, I think especially with these CBs, it really does show them off to the best of their ability because I think the colours that we've got in the in these kits are amazing and each one is very, very individual and beautiful. So thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very, very soon.